Hello, my name is Duncan Alderdice, and the reason I'm making these videos is to document the journey I take as I become who I am. Today was an interesting day. Um, first item of business, 15 dials on the day. Very low, but 180 connection requests sent out through LinkedIn, so there's still activity. And three book demos. Now, uh, the one of those book demos, I woke up Saturday morning early and called Dibs on the Dibsy channel, so like I got that lead. I, I texted him being like, hey, can I give you a call? And it was like, let's talk Monday, but I just wanted to reach out just to like get in contact right away. So booked him, um, had a good conversation. And then there was another one that came through the Dibsy channel um, that I like I'd called dibs on and booked. So that was good. So there's two. And at the end of the day, I like I wasn't having the, like the, I had a bit of a sour taste in my mouth. This is actually the second time I'm recording today's video. Um, but at, at the very end of the day, it wasn't great. I spoke with my sales manager to quick. Um, and uh, then in, throughout that conversation, he was like, okay, well, let's let's call people. He gave me a person to call. I connected the call with him and was able to book a demo. Um, it was a good one because it sounded like he was trying to brush me off, go like, I'll give you a call tomorrow. Um, and I said like, okay, what time tomorrow? I wanna make sure I'm available. I actually booked it to a particular time on Thursday. Um, <laughs> but then like an hour later, then he sent an email being like, the, the it, it's too much for my budget at the current moment. So, uh, so like, I'm glad I pushed through, but then it also just kind of reinforces that fact that whenever the person I'm speaking to is saying, I'll just give you a call tomorrow, or like, let me follow up with you. They're just brushing me off. Like they're just not interested. Um, but you live and you learn. I'm still counting it as a booked one because I <laughs> went through with it. Um, in the morning I had a demo, the, the demo with the big account, uh, that I was talking about. That conversation went well. Um, uh, no sale yet, but currently it, it's a question of capacity and timing. Um, like, they're getting more people on their teams on the 20th of March. I'm following up with them on the last week of March, but their response to that's not just a brush off. Like, I, I like mentioned that, like, and I like, oh, no, 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 we're moving forward with it. Um, it and by, like, so right now they're trying to figure out how many leads do they actually need for their agents not whether or not we're gonna use the service that we're providing. So that's positive. Um, then there were other two, the two demos I had today uh, resulted in kind of like a disqualification. Um, one of them, like just a people not fitting the profile, but that comes with it. Um, and then a weird one at the end of the day with a guy who, it was it was strange because I'm, I'm, I'm taught, like asking him the typical questions, like, like what goals do you have? Like to try to figure out whether or not there is like a need for the service we are have and like partway through it like he was kind of like abrupt and abrasive in the way that he was speaking but partway through he goes like well you're like why are you asking these questions like you're not my business coach um and like i go like well no i know i'm not your business coach what i'm trying to figure out is actually like what i just said right now like if you have the problem we solve for it um and then he was going like, well i just need to know more about what your program does and then i said going like well look, yeah like some sales people will just take the approach of showing of just some sales people will take the approach and just show up throw up and hope but that's not what i'm going to do right now i'm going to actually figure out if you actually have the need um whatever i was happy that i said that line got it from the uk's most hated sales trainer um but and but it actually is true because if i just did the pitch for everybody I'm not, I'm not going to, th that's where the skill comes in. And it's not a skill of like manipulation, but more of determining whether or not this person that I'm speaking to actually needs the service. Because if they don't need the service, well then why would you spend money on something you don't need? Like, there we go, like that, that's happy. Um, and then there was another one at 7.30 PM tonight, which is when I'm recording this, that just didn't show up, so. <laughs> My sales manager also sent me a text being like, hey, you got a 730 demo, like your calendar's wide open. Is that like done by design? And my text back essentially was like, yeah, like I'm available from 8 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m. At this moment, so I can get more reps in, show myself how much I can actually work, as well as if once I'm hitting quota, then I can like kind of reduce those hours. But more it's a, I don't want to say my calendar is just available between nine and six out of laziness, but rather have some data like, okay, well of the two eight, eight to nine AM demos that I've had, both of them have not showed up. 
and now the 7.30 p.m. one didn't show up. So if I'm making the decision to block off my calendar then because people who typically book in those time frames don't show up, then it's like, then I'm, I'm making an educated decision to not have my calendar available then rather than a, like just a lazy one. Um, as well as, and I don't know if, oh, Jennifer, one of the most common commenters on my videos, uh, left a comment asking about the actual, the if she could use as a sample the song in the very first video. Um, and like, I'm going like, yes, like, where do I send it to? The tough part is I go like, like, I, I can't message people directly on YouTube. And like, I also don't, like, I go like, how do I share that without putting them having to put contact information on a public domain? Like, it's like, well, what's your, what's your phone number or what's your email that I can send it to? But then that, that's not private. Like it's like, so we'll figure that out. So if, if you're watching right now, Jennifer, hopefully at, by this point, I have actually um, send it to you. And I'd be curious to actually hear the song that you make from it. But so that's, that's kind of cool. Um, that's just a bit of ding sound. Um, how much time is there? Six minutes. Okay. But, uh, weekend was good. Uh, a lot of fun. The ax throwing was fun. <laughs> I got a good picture of myself doing it. Uh, then had a good time with the guys, uh, Saturday night. It, it was funny because speaking with some of them, some of them are in sales positions and like, we'll, we'll talk about the actual sales processes and in hearing their their approach to taking calls, I can I can see myself actually having benefited from looking into more sales training. And like I told him to like look into sales training, like you have the p potential to make more money than you're currently making right now. Like all you need is the information and someone holding you accountable for that. Um, but then but then what more that painted the picture is more for the future of being able to be a sales trainer of my own because I have knowledge and can help someone who is in a position that I used to be in get into the position I am in now. So that was cool to actually see that play out. But also it's also, I, I'm also kind of going like, oh no, no, but having, having the skill of knowing how to sell is a useful skill to have because then I can teach somebody else how to sell. But so there's like, I could be a sales trainer, but more importantly, if I were to, to start a company and build a business, like there needs to be a sales department. So if I'm skilled at selling, I then can teach people who I want to sell on me, my behalf, how to sell more effectively, um, rather than just, rather than just, um, not falling victim, but being at the mercy of the skill of the person I hire that I can hire a less skilled, lower wage, lower costing employee and build them up rather than having to afford a more skilled, more expensive employee. Um, but that's that. So that's cool. And I'm, I'm starting to think that I should, I need to design some kind of actual product and get some, like, like do something that I could sell. Like I'm going to start off with the Hormozy method of like, I don't know, like say it's worth $2,000 is the product that I'm going to sell, but at a 100% discount to begin with, or like at an extremely large discount because I'm starting off learning so I can learn ultimately what I need to, what kind of product I need to build in order for me to reasonably charge to like a, a, a ridiculous price, like $2,000. Um, because like just be right off the bat, like I, you shouldn't buy a $2,000 product from someone who's just starting out. But like, if I, if, cause like the long-term play is like, if I have, if I've gotten 20 customers who they didn't give me $2,000, but I did deliver an outstanding experience and they have a great testimonial and, and a review, leave me a good review, then that cost is justified and, and seems reasonable for someone new that I would be selling to, but so that's that. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I recorded this again. I was not in a very good mood when I was saying it earlier. I probably needed to eat something, so I ate something and was expecting this call to go somewhat well and it didn't because they didn't show up, but hey, that's life and sales. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm better now. I'm a little tired because of daylight savings time or maybe just as the afterglow, but the opposite version of that from the weekend. But it's another day. There was, I did have a verbal yes who I called today who I thought was going to sign up today, but then he needed to reschedule because he hadn't spoken with his partner at that point. Um, but he wanted the calendar link. Like I, I, I don't, 
<laughs> I, hate, I hate to say this because I've said it before and been wrong, but I don't think this guy is just blowing smoke up my ass. Like, I think he's actually legitimately considering the program and it, it will get in touch with me uh, later this week. But if not, I'll just follow up and, and it, we'll go from there. But yeah. Um, that's it. So now I'm just going to relax into the evening. And if you're wondering... The background does look different. Now the air mattress that I sleep on is inflated because I inflated it after the workday uh, while I was waiting for the 7.30 demo that didn't end up showing up. But hey, if I, I need to deflate it because I'm like fucking, it takes up so much space because it's a queen size bed because I'm too tall for a double and whatever. I will see you later.